Hey guys, what's going on? It's Leo Nidus here, aka Booster Juice from the Lotus server. Today, we're going to be reacting to the new crate on Blossom Craft, which I'm really excited. I'm going into this blind, pretty much. Uh, I, I I have not seen any leaks. I don't know what to expect. But uh, to start off the video, I wanted to look at the uh, server or yeah, the server announcement from a uh, legion so right into it it's a blossom craft season 10 constellation crate another four months since the last season and it means we are releasing a brand new season crate for the next four months the new constellation the new constellation crate features useful tools powerful items and fun cosmetics you can also exchange all 12 of the astrology pieces to get the ultimate celestial star which they show here there is also a special promotion where if you buy a 10 times key package, you already know I'm gonna buy that. Uh, you get a free lightsaber sword voucher, which gives you one of four random unbreakable swords for you to make your own. Resource pack required. This season, we are also going to be focused on more PvE content, especially for endgame players. And to celebrate the new season, we are hosting a 20% rank sale. So guys, get your Celestials right now. Um, and 25% on the community keys. You know, I reacted to that in a previous video, uh, which will leave the store on October 10th. So mark your calendars, guys. October 10th is the last day for the community crate. And uh, they show us some pictures here, as well as the shop, a Blossom Craft website. Uh, pretty excited. Celestial Star, so I'm assuming this is the 12 items. If you combine them together, you get Haste 3, Fire Resistance, Speed 2, Conduit Power 1, Strength 2, Resistance 1, Regeneration 2, Night Vision, Dolphin's Grace. This is stacked. This is it, all in all, this is stacked. And of course, it's Season 10 Constellation Crate. I, I my prediction was it was going to be a Cyberpunk Crate, but you know what? Enough talking. I'm going to get right into it. And here it is the Constellation Crate. So I'm going in blind. I, I, I don't know what to expect. Nobody spoiled it for me, thankfully. Let's jump right into it. Also, sorry for the background noise. I'm, it's kind of active here in our household right now. But here we go. So the first item is the Constellation Hat Collection. So we've seen something like this before where they, uh, you know, they, 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 they do like a collection of hats, I guess. Um, so there's TV hat, astronaut hat, dead mouse hat. That's cool. Dead mouse, Daft Punk hat, and astral wings. So I'm assuming that astral wings is going to be like a, not a hat. I guess that's a that might be a chess piece, but I'm not 100% sure. Um, and that has a 4% chance, of course. Next item is the big book bad the big book of bad jokes three so it's the third one one joke for every occasion fifty dollars a joke because they're that bad another four percent item next one we have the sniffer disguise so uh, with the recent minecraft update uh sniffers just came out so i guess blossom craft finally released a sniffer disguise for another four percent chance next is the celestial ascender so place blocks in the same vertical axis to link sneak on the block to move down jump on the block to move up so this seems like some sort of elevator of some sort i, I i'm not a hundred percent sure um i we gotta try this one out to see how it works but cool item another four percent chance item next is the cassiopeia's boots so like this seems like a league of legends reference so it has feather falling five protection four soul speed three and bestows wears with the queen swift cosmic agility when worn gain speed one sneak to gain speed five for five seconds that's cool speed five is actually really fast if you guys didn't know and that's another four percent item cool and then it has like just a classic diamond boot uh, texture next we have the Pleiades. Pleiades luminous locket so what does this do uh it gives you star particles whoever holds this locket is said to be blessed with guidance and clarity from the sister stars when held gain haste one and night vision another four percent item kind of underwhelming there but that is okay because it's just a four percent item moving forward we have the magical block of acacia planks honestly i'm kind of surprised i i, I thought i thought we were already finished all the planks but you know what another great addition i'm i'm kind of eyeballing what we have at the bottom here and i'm super excited so let's move forward and it's a magical block of cherry planks so with the new update with cherry with the cherry update we have finally have the blanks so that's cool another four percent drop there next we have the zodiac furnace this furnace is one point times 1.5 times faster so it's kind of like the kit super smelter but of course it's the zodiac furnace uh it is a three percent chance to get this one interesting oh wait no this one is not this one's a regular furnace 
Oh shoot, this is huge. This is actually game changing. Okay, that's definitely gonna be on the bucket list. If I if I can get one of these, that 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 could up my profits. Uh, that could actually really up my profits. So next up, we have the infinite redstone. Oh, okay, another. Uh, okay, so another infinite item. It's an infinite redstone with a three percent chance of dropping. So um, for all you in uh, for all you redstone uh builders, this is a great must-have essential. Next, we have the magical block of sponge. Okay. Sponges are actually really useful if you're trying to clear out like a um, like a, a sea temple or something like that. So that's actually pretty cool. You know, you don't have to scavenge for sponges anymore. That's actually very useful. Um, maybe one of my bucket list items for sure. Three percent chance of getting. Next, we have the star armor. So each crate they usually have like these uh this, these armor pieces that are pretty much unbreakable, and you can put any enchantments on them. So this one's like a star version. Kind of cool. Uh, three percent chance of getting that. And moving forward, we have the Aries. This is cool. I like I like the texture and everything. Um, infused so it's a zodiac infused with the spirit of the celestial ram this item grants its wielder a fierce dash and the unyielding of and the unyielding protection of the stars right click to dash forwards and when held gains resistance one so that has a three percent chance of dropping in the constellation crate and we'll see how that one works when we get when we get the opportunity to try that one out next we have scorpio what is this it seems like to be like a like a zodiac horoscope type of theme crate uh which is not what i expected but that is okay that is okay uh so this one is a relic channel celestial fire trading a blaze rod searing power for a breath of life when held you can swap blaze rods in your inventory for health when damage ability has a brief cooldown cool so it gives it gives uh blaze rods another purpose in the game so that's kind of cool um and as they mentioned in the discord that they're trying to focus more on pve content these items seem like this one seems like this could be used in like pve so that's kind of cool here next up we have the virgo okay blessed by virgo's meticulous great gaze this gem reveals hidden treasures with the precious of the star precision of the star sorry resource so it's a resource world item right click to expose ores in the area visuals last for 30 seconds cool down 120 seconds so we have another or exposer that's cool that is actually awesome so we have another chance of getting an a a or exposure and i'm assuming these are, these are one of the items that you can use to kind of fuse together if you get all 12 of them it's kind of like a infinity stones thing um and then you just get that sick sick item so but moving forward we have now the libra so it seems like i wonder if there's a cancer because i'm a cancer myself but uh balance under libra's celestial scales this relic wields the power to bestow both the village's favor and its four boating curse right click to gain hero of the village 2 for two minutes uh, sneak right click to gain bad omen for two minutes bad omen three so seems like this one's going to be like a raid item pretty cool pretty cool moving forward we have the gemini D does cancer get uh, this look like cancer get any love here but so we got our first pickaxe cool efficiency Four silk touch forge beneath gemini's twin stars this pickaxe can oscillate between its dual enchantments grants uses haste to sneak right click to swap enchantments between silk touch and fortune four interesting very interesting item i've we, we never seen anything like this on blossom craft so this is definitely something different and something something to be pretty excited about so you can shift between silk touch and fortune four that's pretty cool that's pretty cool next up we have the taurus this one looks like a is this a hoe this is a hoe uh efficiency five fortune five zodiac crafted under taurus said Best stars this cycle ensures no ground lays bare automatically replants crops so we have something like the warden hope that you break with the sickle break crops in a three by three radius with a brief cooldown interesting okay so you can break not only does it replant but it can also break in a three by three radius but it has a cooldown it doesn't specify what the cooldown is but that is going to be a um an opportunity for a video so next it looks like we have an, a weapon here the sagittarius it's a bow power it has infinity of course power i is that seven punch two intertwines the fierce precision of sagittarius with the raw power of the cosmos arrows hit so will strike the enemy with lightning dealing extra damage sneak while firing for explosive arrows instead of, however our arrows will deal less damage okay and that's a two percent item i realize that the, i'm not putting i'm not saying the percentage here but i'll just put it on the screen as we go cool that's the sagittarius and next we have the leo the leo 
I'm not a Leo, I'm a Cancer, but I am Leo. Efficiency 5, this is, looks like an axe. Fortune 3, kindled by the fierce flames of Leo's constellation. I'm assuming that this is going to be like a timber axe, uh, just off the bat. Sprint jump to get a small dash. Every few seconds, attacks will deal damage around you. Sneak right click to launch a hook that pulls you towards the target and deals extra damage. So we got kind of like a like a uh, blitz crank if you guys play blitz uh, if you guys play League of Legends kind of thing. So not a timber axe, but still very cool. Two uh, percent. This might honestly I might have to try to pull this item just because it's it's just. It's Leo, you know, it's me. It's me. So that that is cool. I really I'm really loving these textures so far, honestly, with the pickaxes and the weapons, they, they look sick. And then now it looks like we're moving forward to the gear. So what are we expecting in the gear for this season? As they as they mentioned before, it is PvE focused. So we shall I'm assuming it's gonna be more PvE type of armor. So maybe I can replace my Odyssey gear. So the Aquarius headpiece with Aqua Affinity, Fire Protection 5, Protection 5 okay aquarius particles forge under aquarius's guiding stars uh right click to where grants uses conduit power to and dolphins grace to okay so we get like a kind of like a like a good swimming helmet moving and this one is uh the zodiac set deals extra melee damage and gets bonus particles and it has two percent chance of dropping there very cool next we have the pisces projectile protection three protection five pisces particles zodiac infused with the ethereal embrace of pisces when hit gain strength three for three seconds when hit while sneaking gain resistance three for three seconds and of course the zodiac set uh uh, description next we have the capricorn which gives you protection five thorns five huge very huge uh and then sneak to get jump boost four for five seconds regenerate health right before death and that's a cooldown of 300 seconds or so something kind of similar to the um to the thor the thor set i believe if i if i remember correctly kind of cool kind of sick you get a and then this is a two percent uh two percent chance of dropping the next we have the cancer me that is me guys feather falling five protection five soul speed five this is a stacked pair of boots grants uses speed three wow okay that is that is uh that is actually kind of sick uh and uh so the effect is dodge attacks that you receive every few seconds kind of cool kind of cool and so that's it for the gear pieces and now we get into the spicy stuff this is gonna be sick orion's omni tool what is this this one is giving me like adamantium vibes right now efficiency for fortune for forge from the heart of the fallen star this cosmic tool can seamlessly shift between shovel and pickaxe when held gain haste to mine blocks goes directly into your inventories automatically swaps tools when hitting okay okay i am actually really excited so it automatically it actually automatically swaps so whether you're breaking a cobblestone or a piece of gravel you're able to just keep going forward without having to swap between your tools this is actually kind of cool this is the, also the first time we've ever seen anything like this and of course sneak right click will swap the tools and this is our one percent item this is a must have i'm excited to try out a money per hour uh video for this we shall see and i'm loving i'm loving the texture for this i'm loving the the, the thumbnail of the item and i'm loving the the gradients the the name everything this one's sick this one's cool i really like it and that's our one percent item and next we have looks like a weapon here the andromeda blade fire aspect four looting four this blade was birthed from a nebulous heart wielding the power to unleash shimmering stars and conjure cosmic weapons and it has a kill counter that's cool sneak left click to fire a flurry of cosmic stars that deal damage right click to summon a cosmic blade that spins around you dealing damage to targets that get hit so you give yourself kind of like a barrier or like a like a like a thorns barrier that's kind of cool if anybody gets near you they take damage these textures are sick honestly these textures are sick and i'm so so excited to try these out um but yeah that's it for the andromeda blade with the one percent and our last one percent item is the celestial wings protection 10 woven from the very fabric of the cosmos these wings capture the 
Alanis Mysteries of the Universe. When worn, gain regeneration 2, immune to fall and collision damage. And this one, uh, you can use towards the Zodiac set, it looks like. So instead of wearing the chest plate or the Pisces chest plate, you can wear the Celestial Wings instead. And that will contribute to the set. It is a 1% drop. And uh, this is a great alternative if you're planning on using the, um, the, the Zodiac set, but you don't have Celestial, then you can just give yourself uh, some, some wings, pretty much. And I believe the next page is just going to be the Blossom items. Yeah, so the, the Legion the, the Legion set as well as the Blossom Pickaxe, which I'm waiting for. Uh, so that's nothing new, but that is really cool. The Constellation Crate is actually, this one's really, really exciting. And I'm honestly really tired because I just finished work, but really, really exciting. Guys, now that you made it to the end of the video, um, if you guys made it to the end here, I have a gift for you. So if you guys liked my video, as well as leave a comment leave a comment with your name uh your server and your the most the item that you're most excited to potentially get or see on the server leave it down in the comments down below and i'm going to be choosing a random comment to uh win a constellation key prize and that pretty much sums up the video if you guys enjoyed this video and you would like to see more content like this please hit the subscribe button like the video and other than that, I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace out.